This has to be my favorite Tatum up by far. I really do, boys. While sitting in jail, there were many thoughts that permeated my mind. Incessant and persistent, some more enjoyable than others. I could use my iron mind and destroy them absolutely and force more manageable contemplation. But sometimes, in places of absolute difficulty, you should allow, th you should allow the thoughts and feelings to come. They are messages from the universe. So I opened the iron door and I allowed myself to think what I thought. Some days I would be hopeful, others pessimistic. Both had advan advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, disadvantages. It was difficult to decide which mindset I truly preferred. So the universe decided to tell me. I was stuck inside a three meter cell, 24 hour a day lockdown, zero yard time. Lock yourself in the bathroom without your phone or laptop and try to sit for an hour. Then try 96 days, almost one third of a year. After about five weeks, I had the ability to finally choose a movie to watch. I picked The Shank Redemption. That movie hits differently from inside a jail cell. Red said something while discussing the suicide of Brooks. These walls are funny. First you hate him, then you get used to him. Enough time passes, you get so you get so you depend on them. That's institutionalized. That is the matrix. On a long enough time frame, many grow to love it. In the movie, they talk about how institutionalized men are are the ones who have given up all hope. Red says, hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Which I had touched on another video, by the way. He's explaining how jail, the matrix, is easier to accept if you understand that you'll never escape. As soon as you believe there is another way, you feel pain, you feel frustration. And this is the difference between pessimism and optimism. If you truly believe you are screwed, the system is against you and you'll never get out, a strange sense of calm comes over you. You feel comfortable with inaction, because it doesn't matter anyway, does it? When I accepted that I may never get out of prison, I felt better. Isn't that insane? When I was optimistic and hopeful, I was innocent and I would look at the walls around me. I feel terrible. The hope made me feel worse. I will make frustrated phone calls and read legal books and think of the best possible way to defend myself. But now, I'm free. Maybe if I didn't make those phone calls, I wouldn't be. Sure, if I had stayed defeated, I would have felt better inside the cell. But I would still be inside the cell, he says in caps. I needed the pain and needed the frustration to escape. If you truly want to achieve the impossible, you need to be hopeful that you can be finally free. And you need to feel angry that you were still inside that you were still inside your prison cell. A lot of you may think you're not in a prison cell. In jail they decided when I woke up, when I slept, when I ate and where I went. In your life your boss decides when you wake up and when you and when you eat and your bank decides where you go. You're in jail. You're not free. And this is an interesting paradigm. I want to pause a bit. Because it's exactly what I talked about in my last video. And I think I want to talk about this as well, but I didn't exactly get to elaborate on it. I don't get to talk about it then and it's quite annoying that I did it quite painful that I did it it's a very very painful email it resonated with me heavily especially with me spending a year inside like I made a video I spent a year in, in at home like doing nothing and it's soul crushing I mean I, I was I've been stuck in the same place for a year it's one of my more popular videos because people like watching those videos where you know, you're fucking, you're fucked up in life, and I've been in the same place since last year, and it's soul crushing. On 86 views, come on, yay, yay, <laughs> bro. When I start making shorts, my growth is gonna be exponential, exponential. In this motherfucker, man, you don't believe me. You don't need to believe me. I've been making videos for a while now, huh? 1,224 views, 157 videos. Uh, so funny. <sighs> I got my main channel, which I don't upload on. It's up to my boy, it's me. It's up to my boy. And I completely and utterly resonate with this because. I was in that position where I hated my life. I was in that position where I, I didn't really want to continue. Stop, man. Yo, 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 shut up. Shut up. 
If you truly believe there is no way to escape, you'll instantly feel better. Like I did, while I was pessimistic inside the jail cell. If you believe you can escape without, you become temporarily enraged, but you will escape. You need to feel the blood in your veins accelerate as you look at those who live outside of all inconceivable, of course, conceivable parameters. You ab you are absolutely average. I need to reset me. Say that again. In your life, your boss decides when you wake up and when you eat, and your bank decides where you go. You're in jail. You are not free. If you believe there is no way you're to escape, you'll feel instantly better. You instantly feel better. Like I did while I was pessimistic inside the jail cell. If you believe you can escape, you'll become temporarily enraged, but you will escape. You need to feel the blood in your veins accelerate as you look at those who live outside of all conceivable par parameters while you are absolutely average. The most beautiful women on the planet and the most important men on the planet have precisely zero desire to speak to you. You couldn't pay them to waste their time because you are inside of a jail cell. You've never been free. What could you possibly know? What stories could you possibly have? You are inside the matrix. These people design the matrix. They build your life and they control your life. You have zero des they have zero desire to interact with you. You do not matter. And you'll never matter unless you become free. The true story of Shawshank Redemption is one of optimism versus pessimism. Red, who is negative, is shown by Andy, who is positive, that even impossible odds can be overcome with careful planning, diligence, patience, and hope. Andy struggled in jail. But Andy escaped from jail. You can escape your mundane life. You can escape your mundane situation. You can escape mediocrity. Look what he says here. Careful planning, diligence, patience, and hope. With hard work alone you can win. Bless you. Bless you. It has an image over here, looking at the mask. When the night was at its darkest and the jail was silent, I heard the slight knocks on my door, my cell door. I believe it was something called doubt. I did not answer. Red was too much of a coward to feel the true pain of enslavement. And this is why you remain enslaved for so long. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Careful planning, diligence, patience, and hope. Take. This email was changed, by the way. The original one was much more emotional. The original one was much more powerful. They changed it. I could, I could, I could tell. It's my favorite email by far. Five. You might not like Top G, you might not like Tate, you might not like what he stands for. But in this moment, he is not speaking about women or his to speak takes a woman or this. He's speaking about life, optimism, pessimism. If you are a critical thinker. A lot of people do think they're critical thinkers. A lot of people do think they're independent and they have control of their life. But they don't. Because their actions speak otherwise. I could say for myself that I don't have control of my life. I have the humility to admit. But I have the humility to understand that with money. Because money is power. With money, I can try to obtain control of my life. I can try to obtain a little bit of power over my life. It is proven, literally, through multiple studies that rich people have it better than poor people. If you're, if you're stupid but rich, you're infinitely better off than a person who is smart and poor. Because rich kids have an inner, a better inner locus of control. And people, people cope. People cope. I was like that too. I cope, 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 cope. 
and it got me nowhere. A lot of attraction, no attraction, and it got me nowhere. I did bullshit activities and got bullshit in return as payment. The original email was more powerful. I think I don't know why they edited it. I remember it in my mind. I don't remember the exact email, but I do remember that it was different. He changed that I could use my iron mind to destroy them absolutely enforce my manual contemplation. He changed that. I don't know if you could change emails. But then again, it's just an image. This guy says I'm fire. As a grain of sand was once a boulder, a man was once an atom. Yeah, if sorry, after eating one egg and one sip of Harira. Facts. Where did he post this? Freedom at last. No way! How did bro manage this? That's crazy. I didn't even see the image yet. Broke us to go to Thailand. I was Thailand might look might look better. <laughs> uh, you got I think you guys have already know my take on this. It's the same thing as most people. Donald Trump, Mike Tyson, is that Hulk Hogan? Nah, it's not. Da Dana White. Only one image. How the fuck? This is a phenomenal. What the? F what the? This is my first time going through Twitter in like years. No, in a year. Two years, roughly. Oh my god! He better stand up, it's Donald Trump. Gee. Now, I became the most Googled man on the planet. The world did that. Give me any Rolexes, motherfucking man.
Come here, Varfa people. Jesus. I don't even know what these people are. How, you just need to pay for the Tusa Blue? $100 a year. Blue subscribers of the Fairfax Rumble will get a blue check mark once approved. Ranking boots and replies and search. See possibly find as many tweets as a video has with you. There are possibly a centipede of the future. Longer tweets, edit tweet, NFT profile pictures. Fuck okay, bro. Now I'm, I'm off Twitter. I've never, I barely use this. This is crazy. I'll catch you guys in the next video. That was my favorite email by far, most likely because it resonated with me so heavily. It resonated with me so heavily that I often found it difficult to actually realize how trapped I was. It doesn't matter if you're prison cell is stained with gold and luxury furniture best TV, surround sound TV, audio it's still a prison cell and you're still in a prison you're still trapped you still yearn for something that's the outside world Even, unless you had a room like that mother biscuit Ole, olivera and, and bucky bro, motherfucker man you, you're never gonna feel free. I don't feel free here. I look at this room and think to myself, I could be somewhere else right now. I could be doing something else right now. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm gonna go meditate, boys, and read books. Catch you guys in the next